Calibrite 123, their latest device. What is it? Who is this for? And is this the best device for your color accurate workflow? Let's find out. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Calibrite 123. A solution to calibrating your display as easy as one, two, and three. So how does this all work? Pretty much you take the device, you plug into your computer, you launch Calibrite Profiler, which is the unifying software for all Calibrite devices, including their HL, SL, and also studio devices. And pretty much when you plug in this device, because the device is doing licensing, it's going to launch a different portion of Calibrite Profiler, giving you much more simplified control. Number two, what you would simply do with this is go in and choose some of the parameters, the display you want to calibrate, some of the options that are predefined for you already. Number three, it will start the calibration process, pretty much measure all the colors, save the ICC profile out automatically, show you before and after, and just like that, you're done with the display calibration. Now, what are a few things to know about this device? Well, the first thing is that it is a colorimeter, so it's really meant to calibrate displays and display only. So what's different between this device and Calibrite, for example, SL, HL, and Studio devices that all these other devices that I just mentioned can also calibrate display and projectors. In the case of Studio, it can also do paper profiling. When it comes to this device, it's really just meant for display and it is a colorimeter. So we have now got that out of the way. What are some other things to know about this? Well, it's really meant to be used with external displays, laptop displays, but with some caveat that you should be aware of. For instance, majority of displays that you have are gonna be able to be calibrated with this device without any problem, as easy as one, two, and three. However, if you have a display that has, for instance, organic LED or mini LED backlight technology, or if you have, for example, the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro from Apple, this device may not necessarily be the best suited device for this because this does not really enable you to go in and choose a different backlight technology for your display. They're all preset and based on my understanding, some of the information that I have been given, I believe that this device will only calibrate white LED display backlight technology. So even though your display may not be white LED, it is the widest compatible backlight technology that you can use. However, if you have a display that's specifically organic LED or mini LED, it's not necessarily going to be suited for that. And you may not get the most accurate colors out from those displays. So. Who is this device really good for? Well, essentially, I think it's great for anyone just really getting started with color management, color calibration, who wants to get better colors out of their display, but doesn't necessarily need to go in and refine all those parameters. Let's say, you know, you're a photographer, but you don't print and you're just really getting into this. This is a fantastic starter device, but the moment you need to go in and refine parameters for your calibration, I would say that most of their advanced devices, their SL, specifically their HL devices, both the Pro and the Plus and also Studio, are going to be a better device to consider because it gives you more control over the display calibration parameters and the different settings that you can dial in. For example, not just only choosing backlight technology, but choosing different white points, choosing different gamma and so forth. These are going to be the device that enables you much more of those control, especially these HL devices compared to any of the other devices in the lineup. And the other thing to be aware of as well is that this particular device, if you have a hardware calibrated display, for instance, if you have a hardware calibrated display such as BenQ SW series, You'll be using BenQ Palette Master Ultimate software to run the calibration. However, Palette Master Ultimate won't be able to use this device to run the calibration on your display. So that would be the one thing that we'll point out right away. If you have a hardware calibrate display, definitely look at their HL device from Calibrite. Or if you're a photographer that needs way more control over the calibration parameters and you want to be able to dial everything in the way how you want it, definitely look at the HL device instead. So hopefully I was able to give you a little bit of an idea of who this device is for and if this device is going to fit into your workflow or not. Like I said, an amazing start advice, but if you're a photographer or if you're thinking about upgrading your hardware in the future at some point to a hardware calibre display, I would just say go and get the HL device now and you're going to be better off that way. Hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new and you're not retrust.